My name is Kyle Stedman. I want to talk a little bit about my history with recording and with sound. I'm specifically thinking about in fifth or sixth grade in the early 90s when I got my first tape recorders. And I remember um, taking handheld tape recorders and holding them up to the TV to record my favorite songs um, at the end of The Goonies, at the end of The Little Mermaid, things like that, and just listening to those tapes over and over. And I remember as I got into high school in the late 90s, I increasingly would take um, multiple tapes of multiple sources and mix them together in all kinds of um, interactive and fun ways. I remember making mixtapes for friends where I would uh, record some of my favorite lines from the Goonies or from the Breakfast Club or whatever and making those lines of dialogue blend into some of my favorite songs, um, sometimes overlaying them on the songs themselves. Um, I remember making uh, projects for class where I would play the, the background music from a Star Trek soundtrack over me uh, reciting Edgar Allan Poe or Shakespeare or something like that. There seemed to be so many possibilities and options with tape. I could do anything with it. Um, I also remember when I, when I got to college in 1999, that was right when the first iteration of Napster started. And I remember being amazed at this idea that I could download any song I wanted. I just remember getting tons of these horrible quality, um, badly tagged MP3s of Bjork and the Smashing Pumpkins and Radiohead and anything you could imagine was, was out there. And the reason I'm telling this story is because through all of that, including with the Napster, I don't ever remember thinking that it was wrong. I don't remember ever thinking who who owns these things that I'm that I'm mixing together here. Um, I do remember a couple of years into college really wanting to make my own MP3s and wondering how to do that. And I, I remember using Music Match, this program, um, that would would make the MP3 from your CD, but it still didn't let you edit it. And I remember it was still a few years later when I learned about um, Gold Wave was a program that I, I first used to actually be able to cut snippets of sound, to actually be able to do the things I used to do and love doing on tape and start to do that on my computer. Still, I don't, I don't have any memories of copyright, of um, fair use, of intellectual property being part of any of this. It was always just um, an excitement about what I could do, an excitement about what I might be able to make. Um, and then I think it was probably in my first year as a graduate student, maybe my second year, um, I was taking a class on silent film, and I remember the the instructor being very excited because she said there was a new law out there that allowed her to legally um, basically rip clips of DVDs onto her computer. She was allowed to do the things I had been doing with audio and with um, with tape. She was allowed to do that now with um, DVDs in the context of a class. I'm pretty sure this was one of the first iterations of the, the DMCA, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Um, and that that really shook me. I remember being in class and thinking, well, well of course you can do this. You're, you're the teacher. You can show us whatever you want. Here we are in class. Let's let's take clips. Show, show us the, the best parts of the movies that we don't have time to see. Show us the um, the way that different filmmakers have used different techniques over time. Um, of course you have to, to break the DVD copyright protection to do that. Um, we don't have time to sit there in class and have you fast forward to every single little thing just because you legally aren't, aren't supposed to be able to do that. Um, but I think it was that moment sitting there in class that made me think, I need to learn more about this. I need to learn more about what fair use is, about how it works, about why these laws are there, and about what that means for all of my past activities, some of which, um, looking back on them, cl clearly were illegal. They were breaking copyright law. Um, but a lot of them were a lot of them were examples of me doing exciting new things and really exercising my fair use rights uh, before I even knew what that was. Thanks for listening.